Are the media trying to kill Britney Spears? I don't mean that in a conspiracy to murder type way. I mean, is there an unconscious drive to sacrifice certain celebrities in a kind of almost unconscious religious way, in the way that our culture hundreds of thousands of years ago would have sacrificed animals and, you know, before that, even humans to appease gods. I'm not saying these things are deliberate and conscious, but look at the objectives and the agenda and listen to the words of the woman herself. That's the question for today. A judge has suspended Britney Spears' father from the legal arrangement that gave him control of her life after Spears accused him of years of abuse. Jamie Spears was appointed her guardian in 2008 amid concerns over her mental health. On Wednesday, a judge handed the role to an accountant chosen by Spears' legal team. Like, heaven forbid this woman should be in charge of her own money. Note the area that they always want to be in charge of. It's an accountant. What do accountants pay particular attention to? In June, Spears delivered a 20-minute emotional testimony in court. I just want my life back, said Britney. I truly believe this conservatorship is abusive. The singer's lawyers also requested that a new hearing be held in the next 30 to 45 days to decide whether to end Spears' conservatorship altogether. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what the basis for it is. As a person that's uh, experienced a, you know, a tenth, a twentieth, a hundredth, a millionth of the celebrity that Britney Spears has endured, it has a tremendous fragmenting aggressive and disruptive effect on your psychological state if you've got any underlying issues and frankly who hasn't addiction any form of fragility the fissures that can open up in you as a result of that sustained pressure constantly being observed particularly i would imagine in her position she's female i guess that represents a difference like she's being followed around and photographed she's a mother everything she's doing is being scrutinized can't be how could you make an objective assessment of someone's mental health who has endured that kind of thing Brittany had a fear that her family would barge in and take everything. What was going on inside the conservatorship? Much of this has come to the forefront because a new documentary about Britney Spears has been released. Britney herself has called the documentaries about her conservatorship arrangements hypocritical because they perpetuate media interest in her life. Why highlight the most negative and traumatizing times in my life from forever ago? Celebrate Britney as she is. Liberate Britney from the tyranny of these peculiar familial and financial constraints. Allow her to be whoever she is. Her comments follow the airing of two films focusing on the conservative ship she's been under since 2008. The first, Framing Britney Spears, was released by the New York Times in February and examined how the singer has been treated by the media and those around her. What is the appetite and the energy that Britney Spears brings forth? First of all, she was a sort of a pop star where it seemed, at least to my amateur eye, that uh, the talk about her virginity, her sexuality was not in good taste. Then, like, there's the usual prurient interest that's around women. I've known a lot of women in the public eye, and I think that they do endure a different type of intrigue and a different level of objectification, though fame is necessarily about objectification, whoever the person is that's, you know, in the frame, whoever it is, being objectified. And I feel like there's often a sacrificial component. Part of the charge is wanting to see the person break down and be consumed. I felt it strongly when the British celebrity Jay Goody died, that, you know, because her and the hypocrisy of the way she was spoken about. I felt it strongly when Winehouse, Amy Winehouse, died. I felt like look at the way, look at the pressure that was applied on this the, to, to this mentally ill person. I mean, and. Like who would really be surprised if any of the people in this position ended their own life, really, under the amount of scrutiny they endure? The second film, The Battle for Britney, Fans, Cash and a Conservatorship, was released by the BBC at the weekend. Another documentary is currently in development at Netflix. According to Monday's post, however, Spears is not happy to see her legal affairs scrutinised anew. So many documentaries about me this year with other people's takes on my life. The documentaries are so hypocritical. They criticise the media and then do the same thing. Damn, I don't know you all, but I'm thrilled to remind you that although I've had some pretty tough times in my life, I've had way more amazing times in my life. And unfortunately, my friends, I think the world is more interested in the negative. Interesting observation by Britney herself. What is the point of celebrity? What does it do in your life? Are you interested in celebrity? Some people, like a lot of people I know that watch this channel, I think, I don't even care about celebrity. I care about the way that power operates. But think how prominent celebrity culture is 
in the mainstream culture. Celebrity is forming a function. It forms bonds between products and consumers, the way that like, you know, people are used in advertising. It generates revenue all of its own. And of course, it's part of a continual ongoing distraction so that you're absorbed in a kind of mini drama instead of, sort of focusing on your actual life and your actual conditions and your actual emotions and what's actually happening. So it seems that the occupants of the sphere of celebrity are avatars and a sort of cathartic portals, portals for us to express our own emotions, an opportunity to discharge, to conjure up sort of sexual fantasy, to project rage onto. I know I've felt that many times in my own life as a celebrity, I've been positioned in particular ways. And so the reason that there is a lot of negativity towards Britney Spears is because she's been held up, held aloft, the same way any sacrificial figure, or object or item would be. And then, uh, you know, ultimately you have to pay the price. This is sort of a deeply embedded thing in human psyche and human culture. We believe too much in the myth of our own rationalism. We forget that our rationalism rests upon an animal, on a deep psychic forces that got us here. In a way, it's frivolity. In another way, it's a clear indication of certain unconscious psychic forces around the need for sacrifice, domination of the divine feminine, and the, the, a kind of a reductivist tendency to objectify everything. It's not the first time Spears has used social media to respond to the media's renewed interest in their private affairs. In March, she revealed that she'd been embarrassed by framing Britney Spears in a cry for two weeks as a result. Britney made other people a lot of money. I've worked my whole life. I don't owe these people anything. Yeah, well, there you go, capitalism then. And as she herself observed, these documentaries themselves also seek to make profit. And in our own way, I suppose, even by commenting on this, we are participating in it. And I hope that you think that our involvement is not as nefarious as some of the other tendrils that have latched onto Britney Spears. I deserve to have the same rights as anybody does. It's been 13 years and it's enough. Well, we've seen this story a few times now. Princess Diana being a notable example of the divine and sacred feminine. Her, Diana also was celebrated as a virgin when she came to public prominence. I'm sure it's a story that's been told again and again and again, and it speaks to deep appetites in humankind. When you find yourself an avatar of other people's projections, I'm sure it's no easy ride to endure. And I suppose then the only model we can rely on is how do you feel a human being should be treated? Do you think someone should be subject to those levels of control? Is there a clear motive for keeping her confined uh, within certain restrictions? Seems that there is, seems that to some degree it's about uh, unconscious psychic forces requiring the ongoing sacrifice of the divine feminine in order to maintain a kind of patriarchal hegemony. But on the other hand, it's just about making money. Same as usual. What do you think it's about though? Who cares what I think? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know your inquiries. Let me know your theories. You, the sleuths, you, the entrepreneurs, you, the genii of our time. Let us know. What do I know compared to what you know, certainly collectively. And if you enjoyed this video, have a look at this one. And if you want to meditate now, have a little look at this video. We can do free meditation. If you want to pay, you can subscribe to Luminary, brilliant podcast network where my Under the Skin and Above the Noise podcasts are available. Sign up to my mailing list at russellbrand.com to get direct info from me. It's just a click away. Thank you.